Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to update your personal information when you log into the Credit Fixer software. So the first thing, when you come into the Credit Fixer software, you want to put your personal information in. So that's your first name, middle name, if you have one, last name, birth date, address, your email, you won't have to do that, but your social, you can just put the last four if you want, or you can put your full social, put your phone number. Now, the, one of the most important parts about inputting your personal information is your proof of identity. Now, this basically lets the creditors and the credit bureaus know exactly who you are so that they can verify that you are the person who is disputing. Okay. I already have one. I already have my driver's license uploaded into the system. So I'm going to show you guys how to import like your social or address verification. So I'm going to click social, right? I'm going to find my social. Now notice that the size of it, I can resize it. Okay. So Let's go ahead and resize it, make it full, press save here. Notice I press save. Now notice that this one says delete. That's because you also have to press save here in order for it to fully save. So click save. Now it's completely saved. Now you won't ever have to upload or copy and paste your uh, personal identity doc documents. So your proof of identity documents into your dispute letters. Credit Fixer is going to automatically handle that for you and your dispute letters. Okay. Now, there are some cases where the driver's license or the proof of identity is not required, and that goes sometimes for the creditor. So if you don't see it in the uh, dispute letter, if you're sending it directly to a creditor then or a debt collector, that's because they should know exactly who you are, all right? You don't need to show proof. If they're reporting it about you, they should already know who you are. I hope that makes sense. But when it goes to the credit bureaus, you definitely have to show two forms of identification, okay? All right. I'm going to go ahead and click close. And that's how you upload your personal identity documents. 